So I'm redoing the baseboards in our home with this Craftsman style five and a half inch square baseboard. And all of my corners in the home are rounded bullnose. And if you're in that scenario and you need to make a whole bunch of these little corner pieces for the baseboards, I wanna show you a little tip on how to set up a fence and knock those things out accurately. The first thing you do, take a piece of your baseboard, make your 22 and a half degree cut, and then you're gonna flip it so your off cut is kind of angled back towards the fence. So, and then take your other off cut and make your 5 8 inch mark here. I'm going to set that here and I'm gonna adjust this back and forth until the saw is lined up with my tick mark, nice and accurate. And I'm gonna slap a clamp right here, All right? And then you can shoot some screws through here Make sure that doesn't move. And then what you do is, for me, this is the side of the baseboard that's gonna be facing out. And this is the wall side. So you take the wall side, face it out, put it here, make your cut. Now, you do have to be a bit careful here. When you bring the saw down and make your first cut, let the saw blade stop before you bring it up because we're not against a fence here, right? So. If you bring that up, it can kick out the little scrap pieces and uh, not terribly dangerous, but don't blame me if you're, you know, stupid or injured. Make your first 22 and a half degree cut with the baseboard still facing away from you. Now, if you have some architecture detail you, or taper, you probably want the skinny taper down and facing away. Um, yeah, mine's square, doesn't really matter. And that could splinter if you have some really thin builder grade baseboards but again against the fence you're going to rotate it this way smack it against your your stop there make your cut and then you'll get your perfect little 5 8 inch piece and then all I do make that cut get your off cut I'm not going to run the saw there's nothing more annoying in YouTube than a big loud saw kicking on in the middle of it you can get the idea I'm just going to take that rotate it back this way I'm going to have to overhang it a bit because the cut's going to be at a different angle. All right? Make another cut. You're going to have a little off piece. Don't be stupid. It may kick out. Not the end of the world. Um, and just keep rotating it back and forth. So you slap this way. Cut. Rotate it. Cut. Rotate it. Cut. And in a matter of minutes, you can consistently knock out a whole bunch of those little pieces. Works out really great. Hope it helps.